so welcome back to the channel you join us on week two of our van conversion diary um, you'll see Steve busy in the background we are just starting the first job of this week um, which is laying down the ply flooring that we've cut out so it's been varnished lovely sunny morning so it's all been varnished and sealed and it is ready to go in the van So it's time to um, screw the floor down. So what I've done along the sides of the van, if you can see them, the little bits of yellow masking tape I've just put in place to so I know where the um, cross beams are essentially. So I know I can screw it uh, down into something firm that's going to hold the floor down. Uh, I'm also going to, I don't know if I need to or not, but uh, I'm going to try and mark them so that they're equal distance apart all the way down so that if the floor ever does need to come up for any reason whatsoever it's relatively easy to find the screws and get them out by the way I'm not that worried about the pencil marks because this is all going to be covered over with the flooring when we um, decide what we're having All the good people hang out on a Friday night. One of the best places to be. Mm. You forget your nights out, your pubs, your restaurants. You're sitting in the garden having a beer. Come to the Peace Up Wonders garage. Haven't even got any tunes on. What are you doing? We're cutting a hole in our roof. <laughs> so this is the roof of our van. So yeah, it's an expensive roof, isn't it? And then practicing putting in the Max Air fan. So at the minute, I've just measured a 40, 400 millimeter space that way, now I need to do it that way. Oh, you come to help then, <coughs> Lenny dog. What are you doing Lenny dog? Lenny dog, what are you doing? He's off. So, I've just used the hole saw and made the four curved holes because the edge of the Max fan is not actually square corners or right angle corners, I should say. It's um, curved corners. So we're just seeing if this technique will work. So we're just making the frame that will sit inside the max fan. Frame made. Bosh. Mm. 
What? Do you think it's going to rain tomorrow? You wish. <laughs> Come on, Lenny dog. Bedtime. Come on. Well. Very nerve wracking, isn't it? Yeah, so uh, today is hole cutting day. Unfortunately, it's a lovely sunny day and we have to do it. Steve was praying for rain. <laughs> <laughs> right, we, we have a plan. We have a plan, let's hope it works. So, we got our template that we did last night. Oh, I'll take that screw out. Yep. Um, so, we know that this is the right size because we've dry fitted the frame for the Max Air fan last night and we created our timber frame to go inside. So that's good. I don't know why I'm sounding unconvinced because I know it's right. <laughs> it is right. It's just getting it in the right place on the ceiling and being able to... We've never cut into metal before, have we? Not on a van, no. No. <laughs> right, let's see how this goes. <laughs> Right, here we go, the moment of truth. Let me show you the roof. Ooh. So we've marked out, remarked and marked again, the shape of the cutout in the fan from the inside. In the corner we've drawn around the whole saw that's gonna go through and cut it, put a dot in the middle for each one. So next job is to just drill. Ooh. Good camera skill, Steve. There are you. Just drill through that blue dot in each corner, so a hole. So then we've got our landmark or our mark on the roof. Then we'll draw it all out on the roof. Draw it all out on the roof. <laughs> and cut it out. Like convertible fans are well. Well popular, aren't they? Yeah, and if it all goes wrong, <laughs> we'll put a pop in. So, <laughs> if this has gone wrong, the next clip after this one will be me sat in the corner, gently <laughs> rocking backwards and forwards, going, mm. <laughs> if it's gone right, then you'll see what happens next. Is it too early for a bit? <laughs> Double glazing on, just to make it, one, I don't really want to damage my eyes, which is the most important bit, but two, just to make it a little bit harder, because I can't see properly through them anyway. There you go, <laughs> looking good. Oh, let's go. Oh, Jesus. Going back, no going back now. Got four holes up on the roof. Okie dokie, I can see you.
going to get up there if you're stood there filming. Um, you're just going to watch me crash and burn, are you? No. I don't really know what you want me to do. Do you want to go up and me pass it? Or you... That's what I'm doing. I'll hold here, shall I? Is that helping? I'm so scared of pushing this down. I can see why people say this is the most satisfying bit. It's taken us, I don't know, something like five hours today. I was thinking, what the hell is taking you so long? Stress. First time we've ever done it, and actually, all things considered, we've done a really, really good job. Now, having said that, don't want to jinx it because we haven't tested it for leaks yet, but. I hope it'll be okay. Oh. Are you ready to close it? Go on then, close away. Nice. Yeah? <laughs> if you didn't hear that, she said I don't like it. <laughs> so, the Max Air fan is in. Done. Just got to wait for it to dry and test it for leaks tomorrow. Hopefully it's okay. We're confident. Now, you might be wondering why on a day like today, it's glorious blue sunshine, blue skies even, <laughs> blue sunshine, blue skies, glorious sunshine, why the hell am I wearing a fleece? And you'd be absolutely right to say that, why the hell are you wearing a fleece, Steve? Well, when I started this morning, it was a bit chilly, and I've been so focused and concentrating, concentrating on doing that, I haven't thought about the fact that I'm absolutely red hot. So I'm gonna crack that now by taking this off and putting a t-shirt on. I won't expose this to you though, because nah, no one wants to see that. <laughs> right. So we're on window preparations now. So we are just making the frame because um, the windows have to go on something a bit thicker than just the metal of the van. Um, so we've just measured up and now we are just fixing the wooden frame together. A little break to nip to the wood merchant to get some wood. Um, yeah, still Steve's making the, what are the moles called? Hmm? What are those whole things called you doing? Pocket holes. Pocket holes. Fix it all together nice and square. Perfect.
glorious sunshine to carry on fitting the windows today but as I always say a tidy workspace is a happy workspace so first job tidy up the kitchen tidy up the kitchen tidy up the garage <laughs> I get you, sir. Uh, finished van, please. Oh, I need still 99s with my plate. I'll have one of them instead. <laughs> Same thing. Push it in at the top. Hello there. Hello. Oh, nice bit of breeze coming through. Oh, I can't actually see you. They're so shady. <laughs> That's really shady. I might be able to see you better in this one. Oh, 
Nice job! It's only taken all day, but they're in! <laughs> I always say a tidy workplace is a happy workplace and this was, until about half an hour ago, a very tidy workplace. However it's still a happy workplace. So I've made a bit of a mess, got some um, conduit I'm starting to put in for the electrics and some um, power cord string I'm using is kind of my, I don't know what's the word, like runner's guide to pull the cables through. So I'm just starting to run a few of the uh, first fix electrics through I guess, Con conduit. So what I've done so far, our electric is going to go, all our power units in like our control hub I suppose are going to go down here, batteries, uh, all, all, everything, all the electrical stuff's down there and obviously all the cables and leads have got to lead to it. So I've run at the moment, I haven't quite painted it yet so there's no conduit running through it so I've drilled a hole there for this to come up, this bit of conduit, this bit of conduit here going to go through there but I've got to paint that first it runs all the way down there it runs across this beam here down there down the other side and around to here where the diesel say diesel heater the trimmer heat is going to be for our hot water and our heating 240 volt stuff so that's going to be obviously the um, induction hob uh, we we'll have some sockets we will have um, the coffee machine, coffee maker, uh, an air fryer. So there's going to be sockets and plugs and connections for all that on that side, 240 volt. Uh, I'm going to have a 240 volt plug and connection down here as well. So we've got some 240 volt on this side. Then everything else is going to be the 12 volt. So we're going to obviously run the one down this side for the max air fan crossing down. We'll have lights in the ceiling, so we'll run them probably down well, depending on which side both sides probably um, where else um, bed lights um, charging like USB chargers for laptops and things so I'm probably going to put in way too much conduit for what we actually need uh, but I'd rather have it there and we can add stuff in the future and run cables through than not have it and have the stress of I don't know, running or whatever it might be we need to do so yeah that's the plan so I'm going to run a few more conduit cables um, I don't need to mark them up yet I know you know some are going to be 12 volts some are going to be 240 volt but I'll mark them up when I'm ready I'm going to use different colour string or, or power cord for each one so I know what's where and I'm quite enjoying this job actually it's a mess but I'm enjoying this job um, we still haven't tested the windows yet it's been it hasn't we've had no rain for about a week and a half two weeks now so the windows are in been in for about a week. I still have no idea if they leak, so I'm sure gets home from work today. We're going to test them and, and see what happens. I managed to have a haircut as well, it's all gone. Brrr. Winner. Don't have to wear a stupid hat anymore. Right, so this is a trick I learned on, on YouTube. I um, obviously copied it off somebody else. I didn't think it would work, and I thought it was just a kind of a, a hysterical plot to make us all look stupid people who tried it but I've done it on three different runs of conduit now and it does work so <laughs> I'm going to film this one and probably prove myself wrong so I've run a piece of conduit from here which is going to be 12 volt for the max air fan and some other bits and bobs so the cable's going to run through here so I've run the conduit it's gone all the way around the van and it's come out here so this is where it comes out so I obviously now need to get wire through there at some point. You're thinking, how are you going to do that? You've got to get it from there to there around the van. So I saw this method and I thought, right, let's see what happens. So I've adapted it slightly because it said about using a plastic bag and I tried that and it didn't work. So all I'm doing is tying a knot, reasonably big knot, just about fits in there, into this bit of um, uh, power cord. I'm going to slide it into there quite hard to do with one person but hopefully that's just going to stay there a second stay don't fall out good then on the other end I've got Henry de Hoover and uh, a piece of plastic so I'm going to put the other end of the conduit into the Hoover wrap it around this piece of plastic to make a nice seal so no air is escaping or and set them not through the tube. 
then hopefully if you I'll do a better job than that. Then I'm going to turn Henry on, so he's going to get loud. Hopefully, with a little bit of help, needs a bit of feed in, it's going to suck that power cord all the way through so that I can draw me lines through, cables through. Brilliant, there it is. One bit of cord, one bit of power cord, another bit of power cord. Nice connection between the two. Easy. So Henry's done an amazing job of tidying up again. So here we are, back to a happy workplace saying. Tidy workplace is a happy workplace. So this is what I've done. I've run conduit from the back corner here. So that's gonna be at least one feed or one um, set of cable going through for the water pump so that's coming all the way across all the way across here down this side back to the batteries here um, I've had to drill three separate holes for three bits of conduit to go through the only way I could get them and have them hidden away and then there's two running along the back there that are going to this side so like I said earlier whoop, not sure which one yet but one of those is going to be for the 240 volt one of those is going to be for the 12 volts so that's the 12 volt supply from this side we've got 12 volt supply coming here that's going to be for the max air fan and some lights and bits at the front um i haven't run it yet but i've got one more to do that's going to be from the shower any lights in the shower and probably some lights underneath in the shelf there when we build that so that's going to run across um i've got one coming up from here the pink one so that runs all the way up where's that one come from up here where's it going oh yeah so that one runs this is going to be for the diesel heater runs along there this one here all the way up across uh, back out that way in fact it runs in this one sorry it runs in this one all the way across here and down there it does make sense I promise and then like I said that's the 12 volt for the pump at the back jobs we've done this week so didn't really film it because it's a bit boring put some of this um, thermo liner in I'm not sure if it's the right thing or the wrong thing to have done but we've done it anyway so I've tried to cover as many of the walls as we can just got the back doors left to do and a little bit round where we want to put the 240 volt in and start to fix that leak in the back corner so yeah a couple bits of that left to do I've still got loads left though so fair old whack left on that roll so there's enough there for the back doors and the bits and once we put this window in hopefully do that this weekend as well finish all those bits off um, but now so these have been fitted for a week now the max air fan and the uh, two back windows have been in for a week we haven't had any rain which is a nice thing because we can get on with it but we haven't managed to test it i didn't really want to um we didn't really want to use like just waste hose pipe water or water because obviously it's a waste um but definitely need to get it tested to prove it doesn't leak before the weekend because if it does i've got this weekend to fix it because next week we are away on holiday not in the van we're going to, to norfolk for a week so yeah, right, next bit is gonna be spraying water in. Either no water inside, or lots of water inside. Whether that's from leaking or from tears. Let's see, right. Cut to the water test. Ooh. 